Anthracite coal was once a flourishing industry in northeastern and central Pennsylvania, but nearly 60 years ago, that changed with a deadly tragedy. Eyewitness News reporter Anya Whitehead takes us back in time at the Pennsylvania Anthracite Heritage Museum. Eyewitness News films from nearly 60 years ago show the destruction caused by the Knox Mine disaster that changed the area forever. Probably the, the ending of the anthracite industry as we historically know it within the uh, northern field. The disaster killed 12 and it also took an enormous economic toll on the region. Not only was the Knox Coal Company's mine flooded, but most of the mines on the eastern side of the uh, Susquehanna River from Port Griffith down to Nanticoke. Pretty bad for a while. This historic film captured by WDAU cameras is being used in an upcoming documentary which will debut on the 60th anniversary next Tuesday. What we did is we sat down with all the old miners that lived through the disaster and just started capturing their stories so that we could preserve it for future generations. Bracca tells Eyewitness News once the idea of a documentary hit social media, it grew even bigger. One thing led to another and then we had this huge network of all these miners, these the miners' families that just had other input and other stories to tell us. People at the Pennsylvania Anthracite Heritage Museum hope the documentary will keep local history alive. We have to, to dig in the past so that we can learn, so that we can tell for the future. In Lackawanna County, Anya Whitehead, Eyewitness News. The Pennsylvania Anthracite Heritage Museum will hold their commemoration program Saturday afternoon at 2. The documentary will air next Tuesday at the Kirby Center for Creative Arts at Wyoming Seminary in Kingston. And